Hey friends, welcome to 30 Days of Paper Napkins. Today is a paper napkin and a tin can. Nikki and I are doing these challenges for international crafters and we decided to do them on our YouTube channels. I have her link in my description and uh, to share with everyone. We also have an uh, international crafters YouTube channel, but we decided to do these challenges on our regular YouTube channels. So what I'm doing here is twisting up some insides of the paper napkins when you separate them from the design. I use a few of these and twist them on. I don't soak them with the decoupage because I'm almost out for one. You can make them really stiff and uh, twist them on there and soak them really thoroughly and have it almost like, like almost like rock hard kind of thing. So this is, has a nice feel to it when you touch the outside of this tin. It's not rock hard, but it's sealed nicely. So it's kind of got a leathery feel with a little bit of a cushion, I'd have to say. So I wanted this to look nest-like. So that's why I'm going for the look of a nest on the outside of this tin can. And I'm almost out of decoupage, and so I have to replace it <laughs> really quickly here. But that's why one of the reasons why I changed my design and decided to go with this um, more of a loose gluing project than having to do a full soaking almost uh, like a paper mache type of glue gluing project so this is what I came up with for today's project I want to do something different um, the challenge was to use a tin can so I just want to do something different than what I normally or have done in the past so here's a nice brown um, napkin with lots of different tones of brown and oranges and different tones like that earth tones and that's my ne nest color so uh, think of an abstract nest <laughs> I'm used all my leftover pieces here these are not new napkins I'm starting to use some of my leftover napkins and pieces so that is great and this challenge has been using up a lot of those which is really good it's helping me get rid of some of those because I have a hard time throwing them away and if I can use little pieces here and there some places I didn't need to add some napkins and I just even though I covered it up and whatnot but I still added it just because I needed to use the napkin so here I wanted to get around the lip so I did a little bit of gluing on the inside of the tin can and then wrapped around my little nest part You can hear the dogs munching on their dog food behind me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try to run away from all the critters. So I'm just doing the bottom lip here just to get it going a little bit under. And here we go. Last little bit here. And it looked pretty nesty to me, so I was really happy with it. There's so many more things you could do. I was trying to do a quick job of it. To be honest, I forgot that I didn't do this one and I did it just the day before it's getting posted. <laughs> the night before. So all my other ones, um, oh, well not all of them, but a whole pile of them, at least half a month of them are almost all done and posted already waiting to be scheduled. <laughs> but this one, I was struggling with my idea. I didn't want it to be a same old idea and I actually forgot that it had to go up. Here I'm just drying it and thinking of my top for my what I'm going to do for my top so it's a nice leathery feel and it's got the squishy feel so here's a piece of leftover um, cracker box and I'm like, I was not going to cut that straight if I did it that way so I just drew it around cut it and then finished the rest of the cutting all the way through with my scissors because I didn't quite get through all the way less work on my hands starting starting it with the Zacto knife and then I just started doing the same thing to my top gluing the mod podging or decoupaging the um, pieces of scrap um, I use the plate so my glue wouldn't stick onto the paper when I'm getting really messy the styrofoam plate here so I'm just yeah gluing as much as can. You can see I'm getting to the bottom of my <laughs> decoupage. But I want to make a nice little lid 
for my little jewelry box or treasure box trinket box you could see that these are my leftover pieces from my Superman um, see how I have trouble throwing things away <laughs> even the scraps like this but these are my leftover pieces from my Superman edges and stuff like that and other edges and that's where I made the lid with it's just leftover little edge pieces so I used that little basket just to collect those little pieces as I was crafting throughout the week and uh, then use them up now I'm just kind of wrapping around the edge of my circle I didn't do any cutting and all that kind of stuff I, which would have been nice to make it wrap around properly if I cut the edges or the little slits in it to go around the circle part but it was gluing fine enough and I don't mind it that it was a little bumpy on the edges so now the dog is drinking water sorry <laughs> she, he is thirsty little chihuahua there's a lot of noise in the background and I'm finding people are having a hard time hearing so I'm just that's why I'm explaining what's going on <laughs> because some people are like what is going on in your house <laughs> so now this is a tissue paper it's not um, napkin but I use that just to kind of keep it all sealed down together because I used a very uh, variety of napkins there even though I did put a nice layer on there I just wanted to um, add this And I really like the way the lid's coming along. Now I'm... I was going to put another piece on there and I'm like, no, I decided not to. Now I'm just tearing away my little birds that I want to go on the top of my nest for my lid. So I have this little bird napkin and I tore probably one or two birds off of it in the past and then I threw it in my basket. So I'm just using some of the birds here to make the birds top of the jewelry box or the little tinker box or whatever it is that you want to put in there um, and little flowers and it kind of mimics the birds on the nest or in the nest so I thought it was really cute I think I'm gonna actually use this for some of my stones I collect some stones different stones that are um, natural and got some healing and um, stuff like that that are help you um, de-stress and that kind of thing so I might just put them in there I think that's a cute little box for them I had they're all pretty small and now I'm gonna dry it up and of course on my last video I last I think two videos I did not put any gold on there so I thought I'd make Nikki happy my partner in crime Nikki Parr um, her link is down below of her videos for this um, for this uh, challenge she's been joining we've been doing it together and um, I make her happy and put a lots of gold on here just for her well for me too really because seriously I love gold so I put some spring flowers on there I ended up covering it all up anyways but I had fun looking at that as I was gluing it down <laughs> just pieces of stuff left over I ended up putting a thick thing, a, a layer of gold on that part just because I like the gold so much. So it is, this part too had a nice squishy leathery feel but felt like it had some squish to it that you can kind of, I don't know, there's another dog drinking. <laughs> but it's got a neat feel to it and it's all sealed so nothing's going to fall apart so it's really neat. Unless someone picked at it, it would be, it's perfect. So, um, I put a nice edge, see I put the bottom gold, nice edge of gold here, but not on my birds, just barely a little bit around my birds a bit, but I put a lot of gold in the bottom, and that made me happy, I love gold. Uh, I could imagine doing like um, some material, like, you know, uh, different designs of jewelry boxes like this, not just paper napkins. Um, I never thought of this before now doing them like this so I think this is something I might um, do more often to recycle um, these little tin cans in a different way I have recycled them in the way of um, having like a shadow box in the past but this is a way better interesting 
uh, gift idea and that kind of thing. I turned the light off to my light above here to show you guys how it looks. It's a little more dry so I was playing with it a little bit more here just showing you guys what it looks like. It's really cute. And there we go. This is on display. I think I'll finish the inside a little bit more, but this is it. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye-bye.